Boop, boop, boop. Another day, another dollar. Thank the Lord for another 24. God, I knew that was you, man. Productive day, man. I got off at work and ate this morning. Went straight to the gym, got a quick little leg workout in, man. Got that hair cut, man. Feeling nice and fresh, man. Feeling like a new man. Feeling like money, smelling, looking like money, man. They say if you look good, you feel good, man. That's the motto, baby. Keep your appearances up, man, as much as possible, man. The message I want to talk about today is what doesn't kill you is only going to make you stronger, man. You know, in life, you're going to go through trials and tribulations, man, to the day you die, man. The key to it is you got to overcome all that shit, man. You know, as long as it don't kill you and God wakes you up to see another day, man, you're going to be okay, man. You know, I'm out. You know, you might be going through some shit, man. I don't know. You might be going through a divorce. Uh, your girlfriend broke up with you, man. You, you might have lost your job or something, man. I want to say this, man. It's going to be okay, man. One thing I learned in my, my years of living on this earth, man, is life goes on. Life goes on. It might be hard right now, man, but a year or two, five years from now, man, going to be looking back laughing about it man smiling about it man how you overcame you know what's something that we went through what starting 2020 man all of us we went through covid man covid 19 the world was shut down you know it, it was it was hard times man i ain't even gonna lie to you man i'm a naturally mentally tough person man. i can i can get through anything man but covid man that joint, man, it kind of got like monotonous, man, you know. I still had to go to work. I'm a correctional officer at a prison, so I still had to show up to work every day. But it was like, you just got conditioned to be like going through the same routine every day. You know, all the gyms were shut down. Everything was shut down. It was like, all I could do is go to work, come home. I couldn't go work out, so I would go to the parks. You know, around my neighborhood, I would find little parks and go out there and do like calisthenics, pull-ups and whatnot, man. I was I was going to the park, man, around the corner from my house, right? It's a, uh, it's a school, man, you know? All the kids is out, right? You know, if it was kids out there playing, I wouldn't have went out there, and I wouldn't have been out there working out. But wasn't nobody out there. I'm just minding my business, trying to get a workout in, man. You know, it's cold, it's the middle of COVID, man. School's out. School is closed, man. Them people, let me tell you what them people did, man. They hated on your boy so hard. I pulled up one day, man, to go get work out. I got my dumbbells in the car. I got my bands. You know, I'm going to do some pull-ups and dips at the, on the playground. Man, them folks done put a padlock on the gate to the park. I said, wow, man. They, they see, man, I'm out here trying to do something productive. It ain't like I'm out there, you know destroying the, the equipment or you know out there terrorizing the kids if like i said if it was kids out there i wouldn't even have went out there you know what i mean but it was what it was man i could have been like man f this man fuck this i'm finna hop the fence and still work out but it was cool you know i just adapted man you know they can't stop my grind stop my shine i still was able I just worked out in the parking lot, you know. I still have my dumbbells, so I'm gonna get mine regardless, man. But that just goes to show you, you gotta overcome situations all in your life, man. You know, life is gonna throw you curve balls from every which way, man. All the time, man. You know how you react, you know, and how you choose to adapt to them situations, man, is what's gonna define you, man. You're gonna break gonna fold man when life get hard when shit start to get tough man when you're gonna boss up you're gonna muscle through that shit grind that shit out man that's that's what you gotta do but i i can't fold man i me i got that mentality that as long as god wake me up you know and just let him allow me to see another day man i got a fighting chance man no matter how far my back is against the wall how low I might fall, man, how far I fall off, man. As long as God wake me up, I got a fighting chance, man. So I'ma keep fighting, you know, I'ma keep enduring. You got to endure, man. You got to be able to grind shit out and just endure a lot of shit, man. You know what I mean? You might, you might, your girlfriend might have broke up with you, man. You might be like, oh, it's the end of the world, man. That, that's my baby. She done, she done left you, man. 
got all her clothes, man, and took the doll, and now you sitting there moping around, depressed. You like, oh man, you ain't you ain't even going through it. You ain't your regular self, man. Everybody see you, man. They like they don't even want to come around you, man, because you start crying and moping, man. You start to make them feel depressed, man. I'm gonna give you a funny story, man, uh, to tie up to tie into the message, man, on this video. I remember back in high school, right? My high school sweetheart, man, her name was Angelica Carter, man. That was her name, Angelica. Man, we dated on and off. I say from middle school, sixth, seventh grade, all the way up to our senior year of high school, right? And me, at the time, I'm a kid, you know, I'm six, you know, 13, 14, graduating 17. I'm thinking, man, at the time, I'm like, yeah, we're gonna be happily married after. We're gonna go to the same college, man, get married, have kids, live happily ever after, man. You know, we always dated on and off, man, and then it was like, my senior year, we finally broke it off right before we graduated, man. And I was kind of in my feelings. I ain't even gonna lie to you, you know? I didn't let it get me down and depressed to where it was like I just sat at the house, didn't want to go to school, nothing like that, man. But I remember, man, for a, a, a long, a, a, quite a long period of time, man, a few months, man, I was in my field. I'll be playing sad, depressing songs, man. This is 2007. So about that time, I think, what song was out? Uh, the Chris Brown, uh, Never, what's that song? Say Goodbye, Never the Right Time to Say Goodbye. Y'all know that song? I was playing that on constant repeat. I think the uh, Bow Wow, Sierra, Like You, I was playing that. Uh, Bobby Valentino, Turn the Page. I was, man, I was going through it. Man, I'd be at the gym working out, playing these songs, man. You know, it took me a while to get out of that rut. You know, and it was funny. She ended up going to uh, Central State University for college. I ended up going to West Virginia State for college. I had got a football scholarship, right? West Virginia State University for football. And it was funny, our freshman year, we ended up playing their school in a football game. We played in uh, Chicago at the, uh, the Chicago Bears State, the Soldier Field. We ended up playing in like a HBCU classic, man. Westfield was my school versus her school. And it turned out she cheerleaded. And you know, I play football. So I'm on the sideline warming up. This is our freshman year. I see her on the sideline and everything. It was crazy. I hadn't seen her since we graduated uh, high school back in May. You know, this is, I think the game, that was our first game of the season. So this is probably about, uh, what? The end of August, beginning of September, we played them in Chicago. I see her on the sideline. It was crazy. It was almost like I waved. She waved back. You know, we kind of was uh, talking on Facebook. You know, Lil, like saying, "Yeah, we're going I'm playing your school and whatnot." But it was kind of crazy. Just looking back on that situation, you know, I I was in a low place in my life. I'm like, damn man, I, I was kind of I was going through. I was hurt. I was like, Damn, boy, I, I thought we was gonna be everything, man. We was gonna goddamn play. Uh, I'll forget what our, we had our own little song and everything, our own little handshake. Uh, we was gonna get married, man. But it's funny now, looking back at this shit, I'm like, this shit happened, what, it's 2023. This happened back in 2008, 2009. That's been there 15. I haven't seen her, man, or interacted with her down there over 10 years, you know? But it would be funny, right, if I ran into her, if we, you know, we reconnected, we went out and grabbed a drink or a bite to eat and just sat down and talked about this. Cause we probably, we would be laughing our asses off at this shit, man. Like 15 years later, man, how, man, we was down. We was like high school sweethearts, man. Lovebirds, man. I'll, I'll tell her that, man. She probably laughed like, yeah, that shit, that's a funny story, man, just looking back. But you see now, 15 years later, you see how I overcame that situation. You know, it ain't, I haven't seen her, you know, I, I didn't, it's like a whole, that seemed like a whole nother lifetime ago. You know, I overcame and I adapted. You know what I'm saying? What doesn't kill you ain't, it's only gonna make you stronger, man. Whatever you're going through, just keep going. 
keep showing up, man. You know, we if you could, we man, we done made it through COVID, man. A lot of us, man, we done came out stronger. We done learned a lot about ourselves. We done learned how to adapt. We done learned how to uh, live with less. We learned that our jobs ain't everything. A lot of people, they ain't even go back to work, man, after COVID. A lot of people, they permanently working from home. We learned a lot. You know, we we had to adapt on the fly, man, because this was like a new thing with, that the world had never seen. So if you could go through that, man, you could make it through anything. You know, I, yeah, I feel like me, man, I, if I, 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 I got over the person I thought was the love of my life, man. Like it's nothing. I don't even think about it like that, man. I just want to share that story with y'all just to let y'all know, man. You can get through anything in life. You know, you lost your job, man. You might be going through a divorce, like I said. Loss of a family member. Let's say, you know, you lost your job, man. A year from now, man, you probably be thriving in a new role, man, you know. As long as you got air in your body and God wake you up, man, to see another day, you gotta fight a chance. So you just got to keep on keeping on. You know, you're gonna make it, you're gonna be alright, man. Everybody goes through trials and tribulations. We all going through some shit, man. You know, we just all deal with things differently, man. You just got to stay strong, though, and keep the faith, man, and believe. Just keep keep believing, man. Keep grinding it out, man. Some days are better than others, you know. You got them days where you just feel like breaking down, man. You like, man, this shit, man, it's just too much. You know, I'm feeling, I'm, I'm like, man, I don't know if I'm built for this shit. Them the days you got to double down, man. You got to down, man, get in gear, man. Keep your focus, keep your head strong, man. Keep fighting, you know. Then you got the days, man, where you like, ah, this shit ain't nothing, man. Ain't nothing can phase me, man. I'm, I'm steamrolling through everything, man. We gonna keep on rolling, baby. Like let biscuits say, right? So just keep on keeping on, man. You're gonna be alright, man. If you, whatever it is you're going through, man, I'm gonna keep you in my thoughts, man. You know I pray. I wish you nothing but the best, man, and good luck to you, man. You're gonna be alright, guys. Just, you know, hard times don't last forever, man. Tough people do though, you know. Y'all like this video, make sure you subscribe to my channel at the ghetto bodybuilder. Follow me on Instagram, TikTok, at The Ghetto Bodybuilder. I got merchandise for sale. Shop with your boy, www.theghettobodybuilder.com, man. Just keep on keeping on, man. Hold on. You're going to be all right, baby. Y'all know how we coming. Let's get motivated.